More prep hoops. The Bobcats are the usual suspects come state basketball tournament time. Alyssa Ray has more on this year's version of the 27-0 state-bound Radford High boys. Within the past decade, Radford High School basketball has been synonymous with the state tournament, most recently winning back-to-back -back 1A state titles. But this season, the Bobcats move up a classification and will compete in the 2A state tournament. It was a good time for us to transition to 2A. Uh, a few years back probably wasn't as good a time, but it, this is this is a good time. We we have a lot of kids back from last year's team. We know there's going to be harder competition, so we just try to be more aggressive and just keep trying to win. And just we know there's going to be hard teams like this Friday, and we just got to keep like being aggressive. Consistency has been a staple for the Bobcats program, winning five state championships in a nine-year span. After winning the title in 2016 and 2017, they're looking for a three-peat this season. Every year is different. Got a new group of guys. Several of them were on the state championship last year. We also have some new faces. Though the Bobcats don't have a senior on the team, they have plenty of leadership, including junior Quentin Morton Robertson, who scored 30 points in the region championship against Martinsville. He's really stepped up as a, a spokesman. He's so quiet, so he leads by example a lot, but he knows now he's got to talk and communicate, and, and uh, he's really stepped in that role. We have a lot of shooters. We have Cam Edwards, Cam Cormier. That opens up the floor for me a lot when they run the floor, and especially when Cam Cormier or Cam Edwards are hitting a lot of threes. Radford opens up state tournament action Friday at 8.30 p.m. at Radford University's Dedman Center in the quarterfinals against Gate City. In Radford, Alyssa Array 10 Sports.